I think um, everyone is concerned about the shelter situation. Um, it's not new news, but it is um, ever present and ever growing. And, and the kind of weather that we've been seeing lately makes it all the more um, really upsetting. It's been extremely cold these last few days and temperatures will remain below seasonal for the remainder of the year. With that being said, those volunteering here at the Moss Park overdose prevention site say that it's been extremely busy these last few days. Probably the highest numbers we've seen since we opened in August. Um, some of that I think is holiday closures, but a lot of it is the weather as well. Um, folks looking for a safe place to be and to be warm. It's been really tough. We close at 1030. Uh, and a lot of the folks, when we close, have nowhere to go. We try to help them out. We've called um, yesterday and today Central Access to try and access some of the shelter services, and um, it's always the same message. That everything's full. We contacted the city to get a response, but have yet to hear from them. According to their website, as of yesterday, there are few spots in their shelters. Occupancy rates are at 96% at men's shelters, 99% at women and youth shelters, and 100% at family shelters. We've had a few folks accessing some of the emergency warming centers and, and trying to at least and saying either that they've been turned away or they're only allowed to be there for a short period of time. The city has opened a 24-hour winter respite shelter at the Better Living Centre on exhibition grounds, but this is still quite the trek for many. How far would Moss Park be to the Better Living Center? Uh, for those that can access TTC, um, you have to get all the way over to Dufferin. So we're at Jarvis, that's a haul through the whole city, uh, and then down into the CNE, which is further south. Um, so it's, it's quite a trek. And if you were having to walk, uh, which many people do, it's, it'd be really, really far. I'd say at least an hour walking. The city has announced plans to increase shelter capacity. Earlier this month, they revealed they will be using $10 million towards 400 emergency beds available by the end of the winter. Stella Cuisto, City News.